eat my phone. Okay. <laughs> so what we usually do, Lex, is we put the rat just under his angled rock, like, on the cage. I was gonna, like, move his angled rock so that he would see a difference in the scenery. So that he wouldn't bite us normally. Yeah. It yeah. only bite us when it's like that. So I was gonna take the water bowl out, replace it with that, and then take the other things out, too. Oh. So, like, replace the scenery so he won't bite us. We did take the water bowl out last time and put that one in in its place. Yeah. That seemed to work for getting him to eat that. Yeah, but I was For thinking... the rat, I can show you where I usually put the rat, because I want him to get to know that certain areas, this is where we always put the food, so that if there's something other in other places, it's not food. Yeah, he's not going to pay attention to that, I don't think. He might, actually. Yeah, but not yeah. much. Yeah, we get pinky rats because they don't move much. And it leaves room for Streak to eat the black molly. That's true. But Lacey, Sorry. come see what I meant by what I'm going to move. But yeah, I typically put the mouse or rat in this corner. Okay. So pretty much what I meant, Lace, is fish here, rat here, clear. That's a good idea. So that right. he realizes when those two things are not in there, that's when it's food time. So he won't snap at us like you want. All right, I'll move Streak into the cage. Let me get the fish first. Yeah, you get the fish first, then I'll move Streak. Okay. Hey, Mom? Yeah? Come see what I meant by the change in scenery. Okay. Not much. I probably shouldn't leave my headphone on the floor. Yeah, probably good advice. I'll watch Streak. Street, can you not? I mean, I guess garter snakes are semi aerial, so they do climb. Still, the. Streak! We're trying to feed you. Alright, Streak! Oh my gosh.